Okay, so we're here at the Tustin Skate Park. Came out to skate today. Hopefully, we want to learn a new trick. Kind of had some ideas. Some sort of double flip to grind variation. As gross as that sounds, pretty gross. But <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we can get away with like a tasteful one. But I had tasteful is going to be tough. It's going to be tough for sure. <laughs> and I was thinking maybe double flip 5 0 initially, or like double flip back nose grind. And try to build on it. Just honestly, it's going to be like a whatever I can double flip into or get close to, like pursue that. Full set. Exactly. So expectations are low when you're your days revolving around double flip grind so and dodging cobbers yeah that's the other thing too is we have this park because there's a great bump to ledge but there's a million small children spring break spring, yeah exactly and not the good kind not the fancy not the miami kind <laughs> exactly <laughs> when i was a kid i always thought it was the coolest shit like I, when someone was at a park starting the day but they were setting up a board at the park i thought that was like you knew shit was about to go down. Yeah, when I was a little kid, I was like, yo, that means that dude's set up. He's a pro, he yeah. knows what he's doing. And now I, I know like the worst homies who set up boards at the park. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's funny because the reason I'm setting up, so this board is not much better than this. They're both flight decks, but this is a size 825, which I usually don't skate. Mm -hmm. I'm switching to an eight because I know I'm about to flip it. So I feel like strategically, eight makes more sense. Oh, okay. That's the only reason why I'm switching. So you the feel this? So you you usually skate an eight? I've been skating an eight for like two three years, but I skated the, uh, the this one. Yeah, they yeah. just released it, but it's an eight two five, and I kind of I like it. Yeah. But like for a double flip to something, yeah. No shot. Like I'll roll my ankle just trying to flip this thing. So strategically going back to the eight, but that'll probably be the last time. So you have like a quiver of boards, and when you go back for you go back for certain tricks and back and forth. I, dude, honestly, like when I find a shape that works, I just stick to it. So like, this is the first A25, or even different shape in general. I've skated for probably two years. In general, yeah. So like, I don't, I don't really like to switch it up too much. Uh, I switch up all the time. Really, <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> so the reason I don't is because every time you switch a board shape, you have to relearn the little micro. Yeah. What you call it, like the, the intricacy. Just a little, you know, like I have to pop this time, I have to put my foot here. You have the same board every single time, especially like a fresh board every single time. The consistency is there, so it makes everything just a little bit easier. Thanks for the sponsor of this week's video. Into the AM, they make clothing, t-shirts, different styles of clothing. Uh, the t-shirts fit super well, they're comfortable, and they have deals. They have graphic tees, three for $60. New graphics come out every week. And they also have basic tees, three for $49. 10% discount if you click the link in my bio. Check them out. What do you feel is the difference between a regular deck and a flight deck? It's pretty substantial. <laughs> um, flight decks are good. They don't lose their pop. This thing I skated for like a week. Still pretty crispy. So the main difference is that like after two, three days, a regular wood deck gets kind of spongy. Like no matter who makes it. Flight deck doesn't lose that, so. It, it keeps its pop, but yeah, great boards. So would you say like for someone who's actually on a budget, like genuinely like can't buy a board that often, is it actually like a good move? The best way I could put it is a wood deck lasts me three days, a flight deck lasts me about a week. But it's, so it lasts two to three times as long, but it's twice the price. Yeah. So with that being said, I'd say it's definitely worth it. Especially if you don't skate as hard as you do. If you don't skate as hard, or if like you're a heavier dude, they also don't break, so that's nice. I've, I've never broken a flight deck. I've tried, out of frustration. I've like tried to focus them and you just end up <laughs> focusing your own way. <laughs> yeah, you break your ankle. Yeah, it doesn't work. So yeah, big drawback about today's trick is that anytime you start flipping your board twice, these bad boys are gonna take a beating, so. That I'm not looking forward to. I wish I would have shoe glued them beforehand. Like they're, I skated them for one day. They're probably gonna have a hole in them, which uh, we gotta do a shoe check. Yeah, they're good right now. So this is pre, pre double flips. It's actually kind of funny. Like, it'll be funny to show it after. You know, your shit falls out of your pocket, so. So what just happened, Zach? I, uh, I left my phone in the bathroom. It's been in there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> That's why we're at a park with the security guard. I think I have my back. Bougie park. Oh, it sucks.
put them on backwards? Yeah, not like backwards, like, well, I did actually put them on backwards. I put the front one on the back one, the back one on the front one. I mean, I did straight up just put the front one on backwards, so. <laughs> Left my phone in the back, put my truck on backwards. Even the pros do it. Zach switching his trucks around because he's bad at setting up boards. For the 15th time this morning. Trying to actually skate. Got the setup. See what excuse I can come up with next. Your bolts are on backwards. My least favorite thing about this park, that. That thing. It's so sketchy. Ruins the grinds, huh? It ruins the grinds. It's like sharp and pointy and, and you can't even drop in on it because if you look, there's a gap here. So you can't even like you can you can nose pick it or ice pick or whatever, but it's uh it's supposed to be a turkey head, what is it's it? It's just sketchy. It's like a falcon. This ain't a damn falcon. Yeah, look. There's the wings That's and the, the tail and the head. You ever turkey hunting in Missouri? <laughs> <laughs> So here's the deal, Zach. Because you made it a point to complain about the falcon head, I'm gonna need you to try something on the falcon head. Oh, shit. Huh. Anything. You just gotta do something that touches it. But you gotta go into the quarter. Out, something like it, anything, as long as you finish into the quarter. Oh my god. Dude, you got that all day. Phew. Nice one, Zach. Oh shit. Oh. Doesn't count. That counted. They didn't count the end of my line. I was still going. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I wasn't available.
Yeah. Like that, and then kick flip it. <laughs> Can you nolly tray it? <laughs> Trying to help. I think you should give your board a flip somehow. <laughs> that screech. Ollie up onto the first ledge, like the first platform, and then do a trick off the skate like an out ledge? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's session it. Oh, I thought you had that. We really have like twins on camera, huh? Yeah, especially in the blurry cam. Oh, shit. Right, so, so when you see me talking, it's me. But when you see me skating, it's actually my body double. Dang, there's this clone. Oh, that would 
been sick. Ah. Oh. Dang, what a guy. Oh my god. I thought you were dead. I really thought you were on the floor head first. I would have hit the video just boom, cut, video's over. That would have been sick actually. That would have been sick. We run those. <laughs> I run every bail. I don't give a shit. I thought that was it. I did too. Oh my god, Zach! Truck bash. Oh, that was kind of scary. You mean you don't want to get the Brunswick grip dirty, bro? Sure don't. <laughs> In the fallen shoes. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> That was crispy. First tee, everything. I don't know if I should do double flip 5-0. Or double flip nose grind. They're both stupid, they're both gross. 5-0 mm. seems easier. 5-0 does seem easier. But nose grind seems cooler. I think you start 5-0. And if you get 5-0 quickly. I mean, I landed the kick with 5-0 first try. I missed the kick with nose grind. So maybe see what double flip even feels like on the ledge. Yep. And you start spraying, praying. Helping out the kids. A man of class. Think it'll go? I don't know if it's gonna go or not. I'm just gonna start trying to double flip onto it, just fling my board. Alright. Oh it's gonna be a long day.
That would be, honestly, I say just double flip it and full send whatever the hell you can get on the ledge. That'd be fucking sick. I think double flip anything would be cool. It's up for debate. I most of skateboarding. I'd say most skateboarding would disagree, but. <laughs> well, not, cool is a relative term. We're not here for them. We're here for like Tony Hawk Pro Skater Cool, you know? Yep. Skateboard featuring Zach Dole. something I didn't break it, but uh, so he readjusted your neck yeah. and you just sorry, unadjusted. Doc. I readjusted it the way it should be broken and cracked. And, I don't know. But yeah, what I was thinking was this worked a lot easier than I thought. Granted, it's like a bump to a very small ledge, but this would be sick to film in like a video part. And I mean, this is how I've learned most of my tricks is just kind of fucking around with a dumb idea or like trying a trick, getting close to something, and just kind of running with it. So I'll make it a point at some point to film one of these on a real spot if I ever find the right spot. But, yeah, sorry, dog. I owe you. <laughs> How does it feel to be the next Tony Hawk? Well, you know, after I landed the 900 and 97, broke my femur, did the 900, jumped the Great Wall of China. <laughs> oh, I know. All right, Zach, what's the deal? So, did a bunch of double flips today, a couple half cab flips. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. I thought there was going to be a hole from here to here, to here, but yeah. chilling, dude. Not bad at all. Just take a little sharpie, put that back. Good shoots for good. 